in this video, we're going to share how much does it cost to sell the Bahamas. And all costs are in US dollars. Oh, this is the funniest. We're all trying to cover the sun because you cannot read anything on the ATM machine. But we got some money. We're going to go in detail about a lot of our costs, like our food costs, fuel costs, our boat dock costs, our alcohol costs, some of our boat related costs, as well as some of the miscellaneous costs. And make sure to stay to the end to get all the tally of all our different costs. It's official! We are in the country. We are legal in Bahamas. We cruised to many islands in the Bahamas in 2020, like Bimini, Andros, Eleuthera, New Providence, and the Exumas. In total, we covered 1,095 nautical miles and spent 102 days. Our food costs were $1,500. We didn't eat out much since we visited many uninhabited islands. And the island is uninhabited and it's a beautiful day, so we figured we'd go explore and check out the lighthouse. And all of the restaurants ended up shutting down during the many lockdowns. We just got a conch salad here in Fresh Creek. <laughs> we also spent up to 50 cents a gallon for water, but managed to find some for free in many areas. There are grocery stores in the Bahamas, but some are not very well stocked if the mail boat hasn't shown up. Some also had better prices, like in Spanish Wells or Georgetown. Fruits. But any imported items are very expensive, like Doritos for $8 a bag or cereal. If you want Cheerios, it's really, really expensive. We've also paid anywhere between 2 to $7 for a dozen of eggs. We had done a lot of provisioning in the U.S., which saved us a lot of money. And we did a lot of fishing, which was a great complement to our meals. We got a dolphin fish! And it helped out when we were no longer allowed to leave our boat, or could only go to shore at select areas. So right now we're going to be enjoying some tasty sushi and sashimi. Fuel costs. $38. With our engine dying within the first week of arriving in the Bahamas, we didn't even use the diesel we had brought over from the US. No engine, no problems. But we did use our dinghy to go to shore and to go diving and had to buy some gas in Georgetown. Docking costs, $0. We anchored everywhere in the Bahamas for free in the most beautiful areas. Some anchorages were fairly rolly, but mainly calm when we chose correctly. We did spend five nights at Bimini Sands Marina when we first arrived, but thanks to our crew Katie, she took over the $150 charge for the week, no power included. Alcohol costs, $410. We bought a lot of alcohol in the US, like wine boxes, rum, and whiskey. We did buy some beers in the Bahamas before the liquor stores closed though. Kalik beers were about $2 a bottle, and we found some rum for around $16 a bottle. So we tasted some uh, rum, coconut rum from the Bahamas. That was pretty good, so we bought a full bottle for $12. Then we entirely ran out and started trading lobster for beers. <laughs> Boat related cost, $100. Prior to arriving in the Bahamas, we bought alcohol for our stove and we didn't really have any other expenses. Miscellaneous costs, $420. There was a $150 cruising permit for the three months in the Bahamas. We also purchased a lot of data with BTC to be able to upload our videos, check weather, and connect to the internet. And we got a cell phone plan from BTC for like 40 bucks <coughs> for 15 gigs for the month. We took a mini ferry for $3 one way, we also gave some donations to the Shark Lab in Bimini and for dumping our trash. It was $47 for Aquamaps. We did buy some stamps and postcards as well. To recap, here are all of our costs associated with this trip. We spent a grand total of $2,468 for this trip. Check out our playlist and cost-related content and our sailing adventure.